Compared to several other school districts so far, the second largest one in San Antonio apparently had the costliest damage in the storm's aftermath. The Northeast Independent School District may have had its share of burst water lines at its hundred or so schools and facilities. But as Jesse DeGoyado shows us, that wasn't the most expensive part. Beautiful day to be out on the playground. To think two weeks ago, the record cold we had caused a fire sprinkler line in the attic to explode, spewing water throughout Thousand Oaks Elementary. Yet not only did the maintenance staff then do what needed to be done in order to reopen school that Monday. Many of them, like everyone, had no electricity, no water, but came just out of sheer loyalty and responsibility. Chancellor says although Thousand Oaks had it worse than others, nearly every school and building in the district had weather-related problems, like the rest of the city. Estimated costs so far, $1.4 million. And that's just in parts. That doesn't include any of the labor. So when it's all said and done, we're probably looking at about $2 million. The biggest ticket items, $150,000 each, are four large chillers that froze over at Churchill High School, as well as at Bush and Garner Middle Schools. To cover the overall cost, the district has insurance, but it's also considering other options, even help from FEMA. All in all, though, we do feel pretty fortunate that it wasn't worse. Jesse DeGollado, KSAT 12 News.